we come to lecture 2 and for lecture 2 we have the topic macro state and micro state in lecture 1 we have covered the difference between the three statistics maxwell's boltzmann statistics bose-einstein statistics and fermi-dirac statistics so now uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about two important concepts from statistical mechanics one is macro state the other is micro state for macro state it says that in a system or a container you have large number of particles and so these particles will have different energy levels and the particle is occupying a fixed volume so when you have the number of particles enclosed in a container having fixed volume and fixed number of energies where the particles will be distributed in a fixed volume of the container then that quantity or that information is called macro state for example here you have if you have consider a container containing many particles and if you distribute these particles into energy levels and let us say that out of this three particles lie in energy level e1 two particles in energy level e2 and three one particle in energy level e3 and one in e4 so you have total number of particles that is fixed total number of energy levels fixed in a given enclosed in a container having a volume v so this information is called micro state now what is micro state micro state states that for that given information of macro state that means from macro state suppose if you have a certain number of particles lying in energy level e1 e2 e3 e4 and then you want to distribute these particles that means place these particles in different energy levels so how many ways you can place these particles in these energy levels so here in this case you have 3, 2, 1, 1. And you can also distribute in the other way, like in the energy level, in out of these four energy levels, you can also distribute from 2, 3, 1, 1. So when you distribute these particles in different meaningful ways, so this number of ways is called microstate. Now we take a example, a numerical, which is from WBT question paper, that find out the number of possible arrangement of two particles in three cells for Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics. So when you have two particles and three cells and you, are, you have to calculate the number of possible arrangements, that means the number of ways or number of microstates. So in this case, when you are dealing with Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics, as we have done in the lecture one, that Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics deals with distinguishable particles. So the two particles that we have it in the problem, I first I name them as A and B. So the first particle A and the second particle is B. Why it is they are named different? Because they are distinguishable. You have to distinguish these particles. Now, I have three cells or three quantum states or three energy levels, you can say. Let us say the first energy level is E1, E2, and E3. So you have three cells and you have two particles. Now how will you arrange these particles or how number of ways you can arrange these particles? Then this information or the number of ways will give you the number of microstates. So here in this case, when I talk about macrostate, it says that if you ask me from this problem, what is the meaning of macrostate from this numerical? I would say that for macro state it means that you have three cells or three energy levels and you have two particles. Now when these two particles to be arranged out of these three energy levels or three cells, then these possible arrangements are called micro states. So let us see how these uh, two particles can be arranged in three energy levels. In the first case, I can make 
the two particles A and B sit in energy level E1 or cell E1. The other two cells remain vacant. So this cross sign means that there is no particle. In the second case, I can say that energy level E2 or cell E2 is filled with two particles A and B. E1 and E3 is left behind. Similarly, I can place a, B, the two particles in the third energy level, the third cell, keeping the first and the second blank. In this way, I can also make A and B separate. They can, say, they can sit in the cells separately or alone. So A can sit here in the energy level E1, B can sit in energy level E2, and C remains or energy level E3 remains blank or empty or vacant. Similarly, I can interchange their position. So B comes here, A in E2, E3 remains blank. Like this way, I can make A blank B, B blank A, blank A B, blank B A. So there are no other possibilities in which I can arrange. So there are nine possibilities or nine ways I can make these two particles sit in three cells if the particles are now the point to remember is that as we mentioned in lecture one that these two particles are distinguishable and the second point was that it does not or these particles will not follow Pauli's exclusion principle. This is very important when the particles do not follow Pauli's exclusion principle which means that these two particles can stay together in a cell or they can sit separate. They can sit individually. So when Pauli's exclusion principle is not followed, that means you can make the arrangements making the particles sit together or making the particle sit alone. So you have in this problem you have nine ways. So nine is called the number of possible arrangements or nine microstates. I can also calculate this number nine or number nine microstates from a given formula g to the power of n. What does g signify here? g means the number of quantum states. In this problem, the three cells here or the three energy levels resembling the number of quantum state. So g here becomes 3. And how many particles? We consider two particles. So n becomes 2. So if you substitute the value of g and n, so you get 3 square that gives you 9. So you have, you can make this table or you can reject this with this formula, number of microstates, and you get the same nine ways or nine micro. The same number of particles and same number of cells, but the statistics here now is Bose-Einstein statistics. Now in Bose-Einstein statistics, you have two particles. In the given problem, you have two particles. So because Bose-Einstein statistics is indistinguishable particles, so we name it as a, A. In the previous case for Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics, we considered A, B in this case because it is indistinguishable, it is A, A. And the second point is that both Einstein particles do not follow Pauli's exclusion principle, which means that these two particles in a given cell can stay together or they can stay individual. So following these two properties or two rules, if we try to place these particles in the given cells and we have three cells E1, E2, E3 in the given problem. Two particles. So now these two particles can stay together or they can stay alone. So let us start distributing. In the first case, we can write down that the two cells, the two particles are in cell E1, E2 and E3 remain blank. Similarly, I can make A, A, the two particles in cell E2, E1 and E3 remains blank. Following the same, I make E1 and E2 blank and put the two particles in E3. So there's, because it doesn't follow Pauli's exclusion principle, which means they can stay even individual. So I can place this single particle A and another particle A at E1 and E2 and E3 remains blank. So there is another two possibility that is blank AA and A blank A. 
so how many so while distributing you have six such possibilities so we can say that there are six possible arrangements or we can say that total number of microstates for this case is six now if you want to calculate this number of microstates six using theory you can use this formula w is equal to n plus g minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial g minus 1 factorial in this problem n means total number of particles here it is 2 and g means the number of quantum state here it is 3 cells so if you substitute the value of n and g here in this formula after calculation you are going to get 6 microstate as we have shown in the tabulation so now similarly we take the same problem but now we are going to solve it in FD statistics. So find out the number of possible arrangement of two particles in three cells for FD statistics. Now FD statistics, if you just recall the slide one from lecture one, then you have the, the table, the difference table. The difference table suggests that Fermi-Dirac statistics, the particles are indistinguishable. So again, the two particles are named as AA. And now the particles, in the second point, the particles followed Pauli's exclusion principle. When I say particle follows Pauli's exclusion principle, it means that these two particles, they are not going to stay together in a cell or in an energy level. They have to stay individual. So following this two rule, I can substitute as A A blank, blank A A, A blank A. So because this, like the previous case, both science and statistics, you had the two particles staying in a given cell, but for FD statistics, you have to put them as individual. So how many in the possible arrangements you have? You have three possible arrangements. So we can say three microstates. Like the previous cases, I can also use a theory to calculate the number of microstates. Here, the formula is G factorial divided by N factorial G minus N factorial. In this case, G means number of quantum state. Here it is three cells. N means number of particles. So if you substitute the value of G and N as three and two respectively, G is three and number of particles is two, you get three as your answer. As also in the distribution table, you have thermodynamic probability mean. It means that for a given macro state, and this is applicable for distinguishable particles, that means for Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics. So when you have a given macro state, so your macro state information is fixed. Okay, so you have the number of particles, you have the number of energy levels, and now you have the fixed number of uh, that how many particles will lie in which levels. So when this is fixed, you can you can define or you can calculate the number of microstates from the theory of thermodynamic probability. So what does the theory says? W is the thermodynamic probability capital N factorial by N1 factorial N2 factorial dot 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 Ni factorial. What does this mean? N means the total number of particles. In this example, you have four energy levels where in the first energy level, you have three particles. In the second, you have two particles. In the third and the fourth, you have e one particles each. So if you say what is N1, I would say that number N1 stands for number of particles in the first energy level. So how many particles in the first energy level? Three. So N1 becomes three here. Similarly, E2. So number of particles in the energy level E2 is N2. So N2 becomes 2. Similarly, number of particles in energy level E3 is called N3. So N3 becomes 1. And similarly, N4, that is number of particles in the fourth energy level, that is N4 equal to 1. And what is N? The total number of particles, 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. That gives you 7. So 7 factorial divided by the number of particles in each level and if you use the factorial formula here you get the number of microstate which means that if you keep the definition that your three particles should be here two one one if you keep this definition fixed so that is macrostate that how many particles in which levels if that is fixed then the particles 
like a b c d these particles may different uh, i mean in different occasion they can change the number of energy levels or the place value of energy levels but the number of particles in in the energy levels are fixed so that is macro state macro state basically gives you that which how many particles in which energy level right but when you change this particles if you ask me how will you change if you have if you have a distinguishable particles these particles will be a b c d e f so they are different particles each particle is different from the other so these particles keeping the uh, phase value keeping the macro state definition fixed that is how many particles to be placed in which energy level the the different particles and their arrangement keeping the macro state definition fixed is called thermodynamic probability so i repeat for a given macro state for a fixed macro state if you change the number of ways these particles this number of ways will give you macro states and that is called thermodynamic probability let us do a numerical this is from w beauty question paper so what does the numerical say that four distinguishable particles for the macro state 3 1 and the number of possible arrangement you have to calculate so number of possible arrangement when they say it is actually the number of micro states so for this macro state 3 1 you have to calculate the number of micro state so basically you are actually calculating the thermodynamic probability so because it is written c distinguishable particles so particles straight away does not mention that whether the particles follow mb b and f fd they are saying that the particles are distinguishable so straight away you have to connect that these particles follow maxwell's boltzmann statistics so they are mb how many particles four particles so because they are distinguishable particles i have to name them as a b c d because they are distinguishable you can distinguish between them now what is what do you mean by 3 1 it means that you have two cells or two energy levels okay and in the first energy level you have you have to give three particles and in the second energy level you have to give one particle so that is fixed this definition of macro state is fixed so when macro state when they are saying macro state 3 comma 1 it means that they are not saying that how many energy levels or how many cells this bracket term gives you an idea that basically you have two cells or two energy levels in the first energy level you have three particles you have you cannot change this the number of particles in the first energy level to be fixed and the number of particles in the second energy level to be fixed that should be one so this definition will not change so what will change the the name of the particle the particle itself so there are four different particles and you can make different arrangements but keeping this in mind that the three particles should be in the first and one particle in the second energy level so if you try to make an arrangement so your first case will be a b c will be here e2 in the second energy level you can place d b c d you can place a in the e2 level or e2 cell a c d you can place b in the second energy level a b d all together in the energy level e1 c separate to e2 so how many possible ways you can make you find four ways four different ways so you can say thermodynamic probability is equal to 4 or number of micro states is equal to 4 but if anyone ask you how will you calculate this from the theory you can just place total number of particles how many are there four so factorial 4 divided by how many particles in the first energy level 3 so factorial 3 how many particles in the second energy level 2 so factor eh, sorry 1 so factorial 1 So, if you place four factorial by factorial three into factorial one, you after calculation you will get four ways or four micro states of thermodynamic probability is equal to four. So now we we discuss we have covered macro state and micro state in lecture in this lecture. Now, what type of question theory questions W B U T in this question paper they ask? So they define they ask you define macro state and micro state. They also define uh they are they may ask you to define what do you mean by thermodynamic probability so this has been discussed and this is a straight away question to you so uh now we come to the end of lecture 2 and we covered macro state micro state and thank you again for your attention